Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 21, and this is war number 12, the final war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Rebel DES. Uh, at first when I saw that name, I was thinking Rebels. But when I looked at it a little bit closer, it's Rebel DES. All right, so I mentioned earlier in a previous war video that we are not going for the win. We are pretty well locked into Platinum 3. So you can see what the map looks like right now. And it's going to be a little bit different than my other war videos because I went in after the initial team. So one of the strategies with the boss rush is that you'll send in maybe three, four, five people initially. They will go as far as they can go and then we'll call in. So basically you have uh, most of the team on backup. And I was the first one to hear the call. Uh, of course, there's this Korg here. Now, I have never fought Korg on this node. So this is going to be a first experience. Uh, now, uh, this Korg was not quite as bad as I thought, but pretty nasty still. Uh, now, uh, I'm waiting here for uh, my alliance mate uh, to finish his attempt here. All right, so he's done. He got a little bit of health off, and now I'm worried. Okay, you see how much health he took off? And I know he's a really good player. So I'm like, oh boy, this is not going to be fun. Uh, so we've got the global stubborn, and it's this hazard shift, incinerate poison, uh, that is really the problem. Stun uh, immunity, not really a big deal, uh, because you don't really want to parry a uh, Korg a whole lot anyway, um, unless he has his rock uh, shield down. So I'm going in here with Omega Red, and this is the first time that I'm fighting this guy. All right, so my strategy basically, of course, is to uh, fight him similar to how I fight him if I was fighting with Havoc. You know, just bait out his heavies, and he's not doing heavies a lot. He finally did a heavy, and I'm in the corner, and I don't want to be in the corner. So I'm backing out here, all right? Just trying to get away from that corner. Shield is shattered, but I can't stun him because he's immune, and I get caught by that special one. So... I'm already nervous about this fight, and I have so much in my mind that I'm trying to keep track of, okay? You know, I'm in the corner, now he's indestructible, and I'm just like, really? Um, I fire off my special, just like the way the AI sometimes does it, defensively, just to get out of the corner, get a reset, okay? And then I hit into his block, he goes unstoppable, unblockable, and wrecks me. So I'm just like, wow. So. I got a little bit more health down off of this cord, but if you'll notice, I brought in two Omega Reds because I knew that the first Omega Red probably wasn't gonna do so well. So what makes this node so difficult? Well, that hazard shift means you need to have someone in here that's not only a decent cord counter, but ideally poison immune or incinerate immune. Now, you'll notice in the first fight, and you'll see me doing it here, notice that there's poison up because it shifts between the two. When poison is up, I have poison immunity with Omega Red. All right, but see now right here, you have the incinerate. So now I can't hit him or else I'll just get incinerated. Now, that incinerate is not that strong, but it's still nothing you want to mess with. All right, so now poison is up. Now I can attack him. I was already in the corner but now I can push out. And you'll notice I'm doing a little bit better now because I had that one fight uh, to practice with. So uh, that's how I'm doing this fight for the most part, trying to bait out specials, looking up there at that, um, you know, the debuff there. Uh, right now it's incinerate, boom. It just switched over to poison, now I can attack. Okay, now if you have someone who's poison and incinerate immune, you'll have uh, a decent time here. You still have to deal with Korg and his mechanics, and you have to deal with the global stubborn. 
okay? So not a, a simple fight. And I got caught by the special one again. You know, that just tells you because I normally can evade that special one without any difficulty, but so much I'm trying to keep track of here. Okay, you know, trying to watch his rock charges, you know, trying to make sure. Now see here, I timed it badly so that the final hit of my special hit him after it switched over. So now you see I have incinerate on me, but you'll notice it's not a very strong incinerate. But if you go hog wild and just start hitting into him, that incinerate will take you out. Okay, so you see there, he went indestructible, and now I needed to take a blocked hit to get rid of that indestructible charge. Didn't have the health, he took me down. But we did a lot better on that second attempt than we did the first one. And the more I would have to fight that guy, the you know better that fight would go for me. But it's a very annoying fight. Initially, I told them, oh man, I'm out because I saw that you would have to play it a little bit slower, you know, not fighting when the uh, incinerate was up uh, and then only fighting when the poison was up. Seemed like it was gonna be a longer fight. I don't generally do well with long patient uh, type strategies, all right? <clears throat> but as you saw, Spider was able to finish him off. So now we've got the boss. Now it doesn't matter. Like I said, we're just trying to get the boss down. That's it. But I like to put my best foot forward anyway. So I still went ahead and boosted up. I have plenty of them and I know we're going to be able to restock them uh, over the off in the off season. All right. So I've soloed thing on stubborn the boss before you can look on my channel and uh, look over the other wars and you'll see that I'm able to do that. Uh, the reason that Nick Fury is such an awesome uh, option for this is because they recently changed the attack tactic. So the defense tactic is stubborn. If you evade, they get an indestructible charge and you need to take a hit or a block to get rid of that um, stubborn uh, indestructible charge which means, um, you know, you can do a parry or, or anything like that. But the stubborn attack tactic, when you are an attacker, uh, you also get benefits. And previously, you didn't get that good of a benefit, honestly. Um, you got a perfect block chance, all right? So that wasn't really all that great, and this fight was a nightmare. Uh, I When I did this fight for the first time, I vowed it was going to be the last time. That's how bad it was. Um, but a lot of people had that issue. Um, it was, it was a, a, a disgusting fight with Thing. So they changed. Uh, actually, they just added a benefit. Now, when you do that parry, you get uh, destructible charges on the opponent. So you see up there... I've got five of them right now. So that means that um, each of those charges is going to eat one of the indestructible charges. Okay, so you'll see uh, when he goes indestructible, um, and I'm trying not to, you know, let him go indestructible, but when he does, you'll see that one of those charges is going to go bye bye. And you'll notice that I now have seven. Okay, so I can evade uh, all that I want here. But I got clipped there, um, not really on purpose, but I wanted the real Nick Fury to come out so I could start doing some real good damage. But generally, I don't do that until I have him down a little bit more. But, you know, I'm like, okay, we, we, we can still do this. All right. Um, we're taking a lot more uh, blocked hits than I wanted. Now, see the indestructible right there? But he's not indestructible because I have those destructible charges. That's what makes Nick Fury just a beast for thing bosses on this node with Stubborn. Also, of course, Nick Fury does bleeds and that helps you manage things rock charges, okay? Um, you don't wanna hit him when he has 15. You can hit into his block like you see me doing there, but that's it, okay? So now I need to push him to a special one so I could bait that out. 
And it's a good thing that I had all those charges or else he was gonna go indestructible. All right, so we got that. Um, and it's all about managing his rock charges. Um, so I'm looking up there and I'm like, okay, we're you know more than halfway, uh, but we're getting down to the wire here. And so I was like, you know what? Let me fire off a special three, you know, and, and get some, you know, damage in there. Uh, but that special three does take up some time. Uh, but that was a decent amount of damage. All right. Um, Thing has his protection up, you know, just he is a, a nasty uh, boss in any case. But Nick Fury can handle him. OK, so I'm now looking at these rock charges. Boom, 15, back off, bait out that special two, boom, and then go back in. And normally, if uh, this was the before time, before they changed that um, stubborn attack tactic, we wouldn't be able to get any damage in. Because every time we had to evade, he would be going indestructible, you know? It was, it was horrible. All right, so now here... I'm trying to wait this out. Look at it. We have less than 30 seconds left on the clock. Okay. And I'm looking at his health and I'm like, I don't think a special three is going to take him down. I need to get him down a little bit further. All right. So I'm trying to get him down. I looked up to see the time and he caught me. I was like, no, I don't believe it. Um, but that was just me. I, I was looking up at the time. It was getting right down to the wire and I'm like, okay, I need to, um, get that special three off, but I wanted it to kill him and I wasn't sure of how much damage it was going to do. All right. But that was actually all of the fights that I did in this war. And surprisingly enough, uh, for the first time ever, I didn't even have my name on the list at the end, you know, the skirmish rewards, my name didn't even appear there because I didn't actually get anyone down even though i helped on both of these guys i didn't finish them off so uh that was interesting i looked for my name and i'm like man and i must not have gotten any defender kills either but in any case let's uh find out how this war ended for us we pretty much know how it ended but let's go And we're back, and as you can see, we lost. Kind of hard to win when you are just going for boss rushes. And once again, we have a BG that did not down their boss for whatever reason. But uh, we are pretty much locked into Platinum 3. Uh, so that's what we're expecting, that's what we're at right now. And I don't believe it's even possible for us to fall out of Platinum 3. All right, uh, now the uh, rewards are not out yet, uh, so I'll make another video uh, for the season rewards and we'll talk about some docking that took place amongst the war. So that's gonna do it guys. Thank you all for watching the video, take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.